So Jonathan is a little three-year-old boy from Uganda. He had a little growth the size of a bean seed behind his ears. And then his parents um, noticed that it was growing larger by the week. They were told they would not be able to operate on it for fear that he might die. I first got an email from Naomi Carrera with the story of this boy and this picture of a boy with a huge neck mass. And I looked at him and said, well, this is a neck mass. This is my specialty. Let's see how we can help. But that really began um, a process of trying to evaluate something from across the ocean. So for me, it was really a big leap of faith and that if there's any place that can take care of something this difficult, it would be at the University of Michigan. Well, when I first met him, and he's so delightful and beautiful and obviously very healthy, and when I examined him with the scope, I could see that his airway was fine, which was a big um, important step that, that would reduce some of the risk of the surgery, so we could get the MRI. And that was really the turning point when the MRI came back as a surprise. We were called back to the office, and Dr. Lesperan said, the MRI results came back unfavorable. And she said, it has gone down into his sitting by his lungs. And it's much more serious than what I had thought. So then we have to do biopsy, maybe one, maybe two. And each time we go deeper, we might find more surprises that we had not known before. And maybe it might be cancer. And so maybe it cannot be treated by surgery. That first biopsy results came out, they said, it's okay. It's still bad, but they can go ahead and do the surgery. So I was all excited and sent out emails to everybody. And I think that's when Dr. Lesperan said, Naomi, just wait, just wait. You hold back on your emails to everybody because we still have lots of work to do. And she said, the whole team has to agree to do this. Only then we can go forward. And um, they said, we might even have to cut a bone to pull it out, because it's right inside there. And that's when Dr. Spector got involved. I think any time we go into surgery, I think there's always some uncertainty knowing what's going to happen. And in Jonathan's case, right, he's three years old, and uh, he has a vascular tumor which is going to bleed. You know, you just, you're anxious. I think ang there's a level of anxiety that happens in a surgery that you just want to make, you, you're knowing everything's going to go okay, but you got to get to that point. I think their fear was death, and that's the fear that they had to overcome. No, he's not. We are going to help your child. He's going to come back whole. 